Nico is just a really, he's an innovative uh, motivator and he's, he's got this, his mind is unique. I always like to bring ideas to him and get his take on it and he just always seems to help like developing clarify. My name is Nico Van England. In 2011 I made it to Thailand where I founded the Pongam Project. I have worked in um, a few communities here in Hawaii. Uh, La Akea being one of them, um, Permaculture Foundation of Hawaii, and also here at um, Hawaiian Sanctuary. The reason I tell you all this is to convince you that you made the right decision to give me your attention. So I have a small organization called Lower Puno Rising, and we're a design build collective, and we really just help vision some of these ideas, right? We, um, we help formalize them and put them into place so that we can then present them um, business plans and grants to get money for them so we can do them. It's it's lofty goal. We don't have a place. We don't have money. We, we have uh, social capital and we have the will and we know that it's important and we have ambition. We're just working towards these goals. Our Konohiki is one of our flagship projects. Um, the Community Hive, which we've hosted a three-month series of community um, meetings to vision that is another project that we're working on so it's not just coming from me that it's coming from you I'm gonna ask you to stick around so I can harvest some of your ideas and so that we can put this into our larger vision and as we go seek money and as we begin to build it in the future that your voice is heard around that I went to school for design my I uh, had a professor a whole systems designer tell me about this process right how to create take something from an idea to a reality there's these clear linear steps to do that and so right after school I worked with um, community arts and I saw that some of these aspects of this process we were using to engage community to, to create artistic enhancements and gardens and things like that and then I adapted it right so this crazy design process that can sometimes feel really overwhelming what I've done is streamlined it in a way that I hope that it's accessible and easy to engage with. Because quite often what happens is when you're a kid, they give you a piece of clay, they say make something, they give you an empty canvas, they say paint something, you can manifest your own destiny, be the change you wanna see, right? It's all up to you, like all this beautiful stuff, but it doesn't quite cover the how. So this is a fun process. This is, this is not meant to be stressful, this is meant to engage you, and these are techniques that you can use in your everyday life. A call on three aspects of ourselves sort of a higher, sort of a heart center and sort of a root centered, right? Like, and the root is gonna be like what your needs are, your immediate needs. Your heart is gonna be kind of like what you would like or what you would love to see. And your higher is like what's important to me. And so we're gonna, from these adjectives that we're gonna write down, we'll create a statement of intention. It's what, important to me that it's beautiful. Right, that it's beautiful. What else, let me hear you say it. It's important to me that it's, <laughs> If you say it, you may trigger it in someone else, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Nice one, Uncle. Appreciate that. By ourselves. This is like our true values, our aspirations. This is what we hold dear. This is uh, things that we can't waver on. These are things that are non-negotiable. These are things that are important to us. This is your needs. This is your childish self, right? Like, you're not thinking of your higher self or your heart. You're just like, I want this and I want that. Get it out. I know there's a lot more inner characters, inner children over here than are being expressed. Say it out loud. I want this. And we're going to create a statement of intention with that, right? So we'll build a little paragraph that says for this community, it's important to them that they have this, that they want that, that they would like to see this. A clear intention is how we, um, plus direct action is how we make magic happen, right? So people say manifest this, do that, but you can't do any of that unless you have a clear intention. So creating a statement of intention for any project that you have going, taking the time to do a process like this is really helpful, right? And some people know brainstorming, right? You just list things or free writing or mind mapping. And mind mapping is a tool that's been used for thousands of years and it helps us um, navigate the interiors of our mind through like uh, pathways and synapses and, and, and um, nodes and it sort of like takes that complicated structure and lays it out um, into a visual form. Yeah. <laughs> okay, nice. But each one has a subcategory is what you're Except maybe suggesting. Animal food, I don't know, that That's perennials. We're going to expand our center of awareness from ourselves and our family 
into like what I would call our neighborhood, right? You definitely could do this by yourself. Yeah, right. We need it to And my job is to help vision it, right? And so once the vision gets there and people show up, then we look for funding. And well, that community is really diverse. There's a lot of uh, different things that make us humans. It's education, access to food. building material, shelter. And because it takes a lot of hands to get a lot of this stuff moving and shaping nice. and so forth. One of the themes I saw was reoccurring when we were thinking smaller was a lot of sharing, like sharing in abundance, um, sharing with neighbors. And it was interesting to me that as we started thinking larger picture, I didn't see that. To get along with each other and when something doesn't go right and there's conflict, how to resolve that. There's safety in um, interdependent living. Right. And, and that's if nothing else I want to encourage that as a strategy for self-reliance, to move from independence to interdependence, to imagine yourself as part of a system, an indispensable part of system, giving your unique offering to the system, right? What is it that you feel excited about? What are you passionate about? What are you good at? What does the community need? Let all these considerations come into place and in the middle will be some special little um, magic bit that is unique to you that you can offer to the community and get your needs met as far as abundance and um, financial needs and that you can make yourself an indispensable aspect of the larger system <coughs> in interdependence, right? So this is, this is how it used to be. Thinking about it as a group, thinking about it as a we, rather than a me is, is the transition that I want to encourage, okay? You know, on these handouts is my website, uh, www.rising.earth. You can go to that, the concept that we're trying to get out. That's, it's very different than an entrepreneur who would make a business plan and hide it from everybody so they could get rich. As uh, a social uh, innovator is what I define my, apparently that's what I am, it sounds, a little bit funny, a community organizer, not as much, but social programs and, and add innovation and spread them. It's very different than an entrepreneur where you, you guard your wisdom. This is like you try to give it away and you try to get people to participate, right? So it's, it's a different energy. So go to my website, please, and look on there and, and read some of this information and email me if you're interested in discussing this further. Um, also, uh, a small plug for Lower Puna Rising. If you have a project, um, like a, your church group, or, um, or your community, or your family, or anything, if you have a project that you're looking to tor sort of bring to fruition, or make some movement on, contact me. I'd be happy to share my process with you. I'd be happy um, to come host some workshops with, with your group. It's just sometimes nice, if, the, if you're stuck or stagnant, to have a third party come in and help grease the wheels and get things done, right? So okay, so we made it through the whole thing, right? Now it's time to show up. Show up for the work every day. Dream it, plan it, work it, make it happen. Step by step, push, push. Again, my name is Nico. Uh, I do Lower Puna Rising here locally, and it's an incubator hub. And what we do is try to take ideas and we try to bring them through this process and bring them into more fruition and then send them out to flourish. Anything from idealization to realization, whether it's self-actualization or it's, it's a business or anything like that. So you can contact me and reach out if you need a little help or fire or, you know, someone to give you a hand around that. So thanks for listening. I know that was a lot of information. Thank you.